a total of 30 young designers from China and abroad, including entries from Norway and Australia, competed for the Hempo Award at this year's China International Young Fashion Designers Contest. On the theme of hard candy, the runway show saw contestants take on different mediums, including leather, knitwear, and 3D printing. Designer Long Jing from Beijing took home the top prize. Her collection is inspired by the wrappings on a present and echoes the theme of sustainable fashion amid the lingering pandemic. I want to give that element of surprise, like opening a present. Last year's self-quarantine time really gave me time to rethink about my designs. I've made all my designs more sustainable. You can retailer them for different body shapes. Meanwhile, Chinese veteran menswear brand K-Boxing presented the opening show Wednesday evening. From formal to casual, high-end to ready-to-wear, designer Hong Bo Ming wowed the audience with three distinctive but co-related collections. Menswear is all about the material you use and the cuts you make. That's where the feel of quality comes from. Throughout the three collections, the color palette is quite diverse. In addition to normal dark colors for businessmen, we also have lighter shades like salmon pink. Because in our retail store, we are seeing a rise in sales of light color suits. It's good news for us designers as it gives us more freedom in our creations. First launched in 1997, China Fashion Week has been a significant fashion showcase in the country. It went fully digital last year due to the COVID-19 epidemic and got rebooted offline last October. And this year's edition will be a mix of both physical and virtual showcases. Also scheduled at the D-Hub Trade Show, a link for designs and business, and the 10 plus 3 showroom a young designer incubation plan, and online fashion forums with industry professionals from overseas. China Fashion Week runs until March the 31st. Shen Li, CGTN, Beijing.